Existing training programs have one fundamental flaw. And the flaw is, through the 80s, 90s, and 2000s, all of these programs, they concentrated on the bottom of the sales funnel. None of them concentrated on developing net new opportunities and new leads at the very top of the sales funnel. And so because of this, even though they're teaching you best practices around negotiation, pricing, all of the amazing attributes of being the best at bottom of the funnel, they're assuming that you're creating enough leads to facilitate a pipeline. And so what ends up happening is the old buying process, the old sales professional, they believe that the way you inherently educate a buyer is by showing up to their office or doing a go-to meeting and delivering this the old way, where it is buyer needs the seller to teach them something new. So it's the dog and pony show where the sales professional shows the buyer something new and there's supposed to be a eureka moment. Unfortunately, this isn't the case. Your sales team is cold calling and cold calling. And what ends up happening is they get disgruntled. Not only do they get disgruntled, they get downright frustrated with the fact that there is a diminishing return on investment with cold calling and emailing. And it's very simple as to why this is happening. It's because your buyer has changed. The CEB, the writers of the Challenger sale, have made this very clear that 57% of your buying process, your buyers are going through a journey and the majority of that buying process, 57% of it, is done without you, the sales professional. Buyers are able to reach out to their network, leverage their network, leverage content online to learn and to be educated. So what ends up happening is not only is that the one buyer within the organization, but right now people are buying in committees. There are multiple decision makers within the organization and they're working as a team. So if you're single threaded within an organization, you're in trouble. Here's the new buying process. The new buying process has the decision maker looking out to their network looking on LinkedIn groups, researching on Twitter, attending webinars, download, downloading eBooks and infographics. And so it leaves your sales professional outward looking in. Meet the new buyer. The new buyer, digitally driven, socially empowered, busy professional. This person is able to learn through their social network and through content. They don't need your sales professional. And so what ends up happening within the organization is the majority of buyers are actually going to start their buying process without your sales reps. They're going to start it at Google, in LinkedIn, and Twitter. They're going to search. They're going to do due diligence without you. And so I pose this question and statement to you. Here's the results. Buyers are going to buy with or without you. How are you going to make it easy for a buyer to find you? Because right now, buyers are choosing the companies that are first and ones that are insightful and helping them through the buying journey. Remember, a buyer is inherently going to choose the path of least resistance. And you know what? Forrester's research tells the whole story. The first company to add value wins. 65% of deals are chosen to the company that was first to add value. So what's most important through this process is that your sales professionals are building personal brands, are building trust, are demonstrating that they're thought leaders. But what they can't be one of these two sales professionals. Number one is the quota crusher. This is the person that's 130% of plan and they're showcasing this on LinkedIn. How is that adding value to the buyer's life? But the second is worse. This is Mr. Incognito. This is the sales professional 
that is not adding any value to the buyer's life. Your buyer is about to spend five, six, seven figures with your firm. They're about to entrust their decision based on the information that Mr. Incognito is giving. How can they trust this professional? Social sellers outperform non-social sellers. And why are they more successful? They're more successful because they meet the buyer where the buyer is hanging out, where the buyer is doing due diligence, and that is online. Aberdeen Group's research cannot be mistaken, cannot be forgotten. Right now, in this particular year, six of your 10 sales reps statistically will make quota, four will not. But those companies that have converted to social selling, eight of those 10 sales reps will make quota and two will not. A complete uplift of 20%. Do you want more sales evidence? Happy to provide it. Oracle. They're rolling out social selling throughout their organization. As we're working with XO Communications, 50% of their sales team booked a net new opportunity in one week. Leveraging social selling, 300 of their sales reps. And they've already generated a half a million dollars worth of business in 120 days, all with social selling. USAMP, each sales rep now generating 3.5 net new more meetings per month than they were before with social selling. Vision Critical, 17 meetings in the first 60 days. 31 meetings thereafter, all based on leveraging the sphere of influence and their network easy, easy within LinkedIn. So how are you going to start generating more business? It's very simple. What we've done here at Sales for Life is we've built a social selling system. This social selling system is a training curriculum to teach your teams how to leverage LinkedIn, Twitter, Hootsuite, Google Alerts, all kinds of advanced social selling tools and the best practices around social selling. Why are companies choosing our system? It's very clear. There are three main reasons. Number one, we have a curriculum that is scalable, that is proven. Thousands of sales professionals have gone through this process. Number two, we've had the content redesigned from an instructional design standpoint from Oracle University. It has learning paths. It has observable behaviors. It has all the elements of a world-class curriculum. And on that particular path, this curriculum is not just instructor-led driven, but it is also e-learning with videos and eBooks and guides for your sales professionals, all based in a learning management system that is also SCORUM compliant that can connect to your existing LMS should it need be. We have a seven step process and this process is dead simple. Let's go through what this seven step process looks like. The first piece is we tailor the content and this is based on your sales goals and learning objectives. We want to make sure that everything that your team is learning is mapped out to the way that they currently sell. Number two is e-learning pre-work. We have a host of videos and success stories in which your team will review in advance so they understand the why and the what is possible with social selling. Afterwards, they go through a kickoff. Typically, it's a half day. Many organizations like us to do this on-site, instructor-led training, where we give away the top 10 juicy tips, tricks, and tactics for your team to run with. And as well, this also could be run virtual, should it need be. After that half day session, we want to send learning path surveys to your sales reps to understand what did they learn? What do they want to focus on? What is most important to them? So we understand the path we want to drive through. Because now we're at the meat and potatoes, instructor led adoption. We have a one year program, 20 hours of instructor led content with 50 plus videos all inside the LMS. The goal is with this virtual learning, we will teach your team to be social sellers. 
Let's dive into what this looks like. We're giving the keys to the Ferrari to your team with videos, with eBooks, and with virtual instructor-led training. This is an example of what the training program typically looks like. In the first three months, weeks one through 12, it's the same week, or it's the same time each week for 12 weeks. After three months, your team becomes socially certified. Your sales reps are socially certified in 90 days. Then we bring in your marketing team, and you'll notice that the timeline spreads to an every two-week process. And at this time, marketing is helping take your existing content and assets so that you can build an internal conversion funnel. It will mirror marketing automation. And finally, in the last six months, you're bringing in advanced social selling tools and helping with adoption. So let's look at the first 90 days. The first 90 days is the goal is to get your team selling within 30 to 60 minutes a day. This is not detracting from their existing process. This is not taking away from the fact that they're still making cold calls, but this is adding an element of social into their process. An example of this is we'll teach your team the sphere of influence. 50% of every meeting any client of ours has ever booked is leveraging their existing client database or the decision makers that have either worked at that company or have moved on. They're leveraging stories based on the success of their existing clientele. And they're telling this story to people within the first degree connection, or the easiest way to put it, the people that care about knowing of that story. This sphere of influence we love to tell this story within digital postcards. This particular video is housed within a digital postcard, telling the story of success. And then an example is we have done an exo communication story that went viral. It helped us win business with Tata Communications, MTS Allstream, and open up the doors with nine other opportunities within 48 hours. Level three, Comcast, Itron, Amdocs, these sort of organizations, kickstarting conversations based on a compelling story. Another piece of curriculum is overcoming the dead zone. Sales professionals go through the dead zone all the time. It's that uncomfortable silence a sales rep feels when a buyer isn't returning their call. It's been three, four weeks since you've done a product demo or since you've sent the proposal and you haven't heard back from the buyer. An old sales rep they're inclined to call, call, and call some more. And when they finally get somebody on the phone, they ask, so what did you think of my proposal? That does nothing for the buyer. A social seller, on the other hand, what, what they're doing is they're sharing content on a one-to-one -one basis. It's actually called micro-marketing, in which they're choosing a piece of content that they think will help move a buyer through their journey. It might be a reference or a testimonial it might be the fact that they're really not sold on the idea and they're still at the conceptual solution stage. So they're sending facts, figures, infographics to paint the picture that the way that this buyer is doing business is not the ideal way. Leveraging content helps move people through the buying journey. Now we're moving into week 13 to 24. And now the curriculum is spreading out over a two week period, every two weeks. And now marketing is being integrated into this process. And you begin learning what's called priority shifting. Priority shifting is simple. There are many buyers that don't know you, nor do they care about your client. But within LinkedIn, if you know what you're doing, you're able to map out buyers based on the groups that you've joined, thousands, hundreds of thousands of potential buyers in which you can begin sharing stories with them. Now remember that all these buyers are starting at the fact of status quo. They don't have a particular problem or they don't know it yet. So within LinkedIn, you're sharing articles that help push them off their status quo. You're sharing a one-to-one -one relationship article with somebody. You're not asking for a blind connection. You're sending and adding value. So when they read this article or watch the video, at the end of it, your team is going to learn part of this conversion funnel in which it pushes them from a priority shifting message to a conceptual solution, such as an ebook, 
or another video or a webinar in which they download the information, they watch the webinar, and they begin to learn about what is possible. What are companies like them doing? What this does is it provides an email notification to your team, it builds your database, and what you're doing is you're taking unknown users from LinkedIn and driving them into your world, into your conversion funnel, in which you can convert them into marketing qualified leads and drive relationships with them to push them into sales qualified leads, creating more opportunities with content. An example of this is a client of our Cision, which uses a simple conversion funnel. They love the power of the video in which they then share via LinkedIn, Twitter, and email, which drives to next steps. And let's walk through this. Hi, I'm Ron Nerwissa. I'm with Huffington Post Canada, and this is The Influencers. How has GemY changed the way in which uh, Huffington Post reports the news? They have fantastic videos that help teach PR communications and, and directors of PR and communications, bring them together, teach them best practices. They send this via email, LinkedIn, Twitter, and all of this drives to next steps. Webinars around best practices, meetups of wine and cheese, they call it social media ref. They're generating leads based on helping a buyer through their journey. That is priority shifting. And eventually, now your team, marketing and sales, are now certified social sellers. And at this time, we'll help you through campaigns and introduce you to advanced social selling tools, such as LinkedIn Sales Navigator. Imagine pooling every one of your sales reps together to work as one unit. Or digital postcards, like the one that you're seeing now. There are dozens of social selling tools that you can integrate into your business. Now we're back to the end. But throughout this entire process in the LMS, we're keeping track week by week of your network growth, the engagement of your content, every sales reps, new sales opportunities, and sales reps that are driving new business. The LMS is keeping track of these metrics for you, the sales leader, so that you can determine the return on investment of your particular campaign and program. And at the end, your team is now socially certified. We've worked with companies all around the world in all facets, sizes, and industries. These kind of companies are now social sellers. But you also have another option. We can deploy training or we can train your sales de enablement department. It's called train the trainer. And in this particular option, they have instant access to the complete LMS content. And what we do is we have a three day training course where your sales enablement team is put together and it's a crash course on everything social selling. They also have the LMS to fall back on to help them out, but we're not going to end there. We're helping with instructor-led certification. We're actually going to walk with them through ongoing support of their own training programs to ensure that they become certified as social sellers. They stay certified for a one-year program until they need recertification. Examples of success of this is XO Communications, 300 sales professionals where their team is a train-the-trainer model they are now rolling out our curriculum. And the same actually is working within Oracle University. Train their internal team to deploy this throughout the Oracle universe. After one year, remember that the curriculum continues to evolve. Social selling is at the very cusp and at the very beginning. So the curriculum will change. All the information and videos within the LMS will change. This is the one constant you can expect with social selling. The curriculum will grow and evolve and you will always have access to it. 